And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. And as we move through the next couple of hours, we're going to start to build them back in and then break away again. Tomorrow is going to be another clear day, but after tomorrow, that rain and those clouds are going to start to build again, and it's going to come through on Monday and Tuesday. So we're not out of complete rain, but the rest of the weekend is going to look pretty nice moving forward. Storm Tracker showing a lot of that heavy rain that we saw earlier this week. That's much well into the Midwest now, and... That other system we were tracking, it was over here before, but it went well over us as well into Canada. So we are in the clear for about 24 more hours before that next system starts to roll through. Taking a look at that future tracker, it stays clear for pretty much all day. I'll move that forward. This is around noon, staying clear. And while it does start to build over in Chalice and Lodore, it stops just short of the Snake River Plain starting uh, late tomorrow night. So throughout tomorrow, we're going to stay clear. But once we hit those late time out, night, late night time hours, once we hit towards midnight as well, we're going to start to see that start to fade away again and replace a lot of those clouds with heavy rain starting to move back through. Now, as we hit tonight, we're seeing a lot of clear conditions. 43 in Pocatello, 38 in Idaho Falls. Over in the Central Mountains, a little bit of scattered clouds here and there. They kind of build up a bit. But for the most part, staying dry. 36 in Chalice, 37 in Salmon. And then finally, for those highlands in Western Wyoming, a few clouds start to move through. And it kind of dips below freezing as well. 31 in Island Park, 31 in Jackson, 24 in Yellowstone, because there are no clouds, clouds to hold those warmer temperatures in. So we're going to see it start to get very cold tonight. But once again, staying dry. So not even seeing any snow from that. But as we move into tomorrow, those clouds build back up. Highlands in West Wyoming see those clouds start to build, 57 in Island Park, 60 in Jackson. The Central Mountains will not only see those clouds build, but also see that rain start to move through as well. Mix starts to move in. That's in the PM. Like I said, right after noon, you're going to start to see that build and move through. 65 in Chalice, 64 in Salmon. And then finally for the Snake River Plain, very similar to what we saw today. Sunny. Now, a little clouds here and there, but for the most part, staying sunny. 73 in Pocatello, 63 in Idaho Falls. So seeing those temperatures once again skyrocket back up to those 70s. It's going to be a very clear, nice end to your weekend before the work week comes back in and that rain starts to make its way through as well. So let's quickly go through those seven-day forecasts. For the most part, staying Close to clear for majority of the week, but that Monday system starts to move through and cools us down a significant amount. It's 70 for tomorrow and then 55 for Monday. So a very quick cool down. But once again, I mentioned this during the week. We, we saw temperatures on our colder side closer to 40 a couple weeks ago. So this is a lot better than what we've been seeing for the last few uh, weekends. And then finally for Idaho Falls, also seeing that cool down on Monday. But... Still seen it as rain. Now, no snow, warming up, and finally seeing temperatures in the 70s. So it's, it's been an exciting weekend. Woohoo! Looking good. I yeah. can't wait. I am so excited for summer to come and the warmer <laughs> temperatures. All Definitely. right. Coming up.